Hey everybody, it's Kathy from Elk Studio. Today I will be teaching you an alternative to the chain three at the end of a row. This, I've tried this out a couple of times and it's worked for me, so maybe it'll work for you. Okay, so you can see that I've already got some of the swatch started just so you would have something to work with. But I'm gonna turn. So for an alternative to crocheting, instead of doing the uh, chain three like a lot of the patterns say, and even some most of my patterns say to chain three, and then you'll crochet into the next stitch or double crochet into the next stitch. It always just sort of leaves, let me just do a couple more and then I can, It just sort of leaves a little bit of that gap right there and you can see that by doing the alternative which I'll show you in just a few minutes you don't necessarily get that so let me show you how I did how I do it and look you might try and it may not work for you but and that's okay I'm just showing you what I've been doing lately and it's been working for me. So you get to the end of the row and your work will tell you to turn and then it will say to chain three. So you're going to chain two. You won't chain three. And see, those are the, that's the front of your two chains because you have the V's. And then the back, you can see you have the back of the bump of a chain stitch. So what, I'll, what I've been doing is I've been chaining two and then I'm going to insert my hook into the back of the bump of the first chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, that'll give me two loops on the hook and I'll just pull through just as if I were doing a single crochet stitch and that's what it looks like. So let's do that again. So you get to the end of your row, you're going to turn your work, and then it will tell you to chain three. But instead of chaining three, you will chain two. That's the front of your two chains because you can see the V's right there. And then you can see the two back of the bumps right there and right there. Insert your hook into the first bump of the first chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through. So let's just finish this row right here of double crochet. And see what happens since I've already done the special technique for the other side you actually have what looks like a stitch so you don't ever really have to crochet into the top of the chain three you'll just yarn over and insert your hook like you normally would under both loops yarn over and complete your double crochet so let's turn our work And I would probably, if you are a tight crocheter, you don't want to do these stitches too tight because you want them to be able to be the same height as your double crochet. And you can see so far that mine have been. So you're going to chain two, just like I did. Insert your hook into the back of the bar of the first chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through and it's just like completing a single crochet and that is what it will look like. And it may not look like it's going to look normal to you, but you can see that it fills in. So let's finish this row because I want to show you once again how you're gonna be able to see your double crochet 
stitch at the end. See, there's your double crochet. No more top of the chain three. And this is what it'll look like. And I actually just used this on a project. And you can see how it looks. This is the row that has the regular double crochet and this is the special technique row, the double crochet row. But you can't really see there's a difference. Once you get the project on, there's no gap of the chain three. And so that is my special technique. I hope that um, maybe you can try it out and let me know if it works for you. You may try it out and, and you might not like it, but I would love to know if this is a game changer for you as you are going on your crochet journey. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.